All right, hello 4 H's. my name is Charles Young. I'm an extension program coordinator out of Macon County, and this is my second blog for the Harvest Heroes program 2020. Due to COVID-19, I have two helpers with me who will be helping me build a watershed. We'll be doing the agriculture and biological engineering portion for today. Over here we have Miss Cameron Young, and over here we have Mr. Knox Patient. Y'all wave hi to the camera. All right. So as we're getting ready to make this vlog, I want to go over the first couple steps of building a watershed within our, within our agricultural and biological engineering. What is agricultural and biological engineering? The process of using technology such as robotics, sensors, computer models, satellites to make a cleaner, more sustainable environment. Agricultural and biological engineers maintain plentiful clean water, and make healthier and safer foods. What do agricultural and biological engineers do? They help to make safe and innovative contributions to environmental and natural resources engineering by applying the power of biotechnology to crop production and food processing. After the completion of the introduction to ag and biological engineering, move on and begin to introduce the concept of watersheds and how they play a part in the water cycle. Well, first of all, what is a watershed? A watershed is an area of land where all the water drains into the same place. Watersheds can consist of creeks, rivers, streams, ponds, wetlands, groundwater, and oceans. So, as we continue to go over our watershed building, we're going to start off by creating a watershed. Therefore, the kids have vegetable oil, which will signify an oil spill, food coloring, which will signify a chemical spill. This is food coloring, by the way. <laughs> I want to show you guys. All right. Um, large sprinkles, show them your large sprinkles, Knox. Show them your large sprinkles, a bag full of sprinkles, yep. And then our M&Ms, so you guys can both show the M&Ms. Show your M&Ms. Good job, good job, good job. After the completion of the natural disasters, those were signified natural disasters. Those are things that signify going into our water after the precipitation lands. It goes from whatever rain we have, snow, things of that nature. It goes into our lakes, rivers, and oceans. After it goes into our lakes, rivers, and oceans, a watershed is created. After the watershed is created, it goes into our water treatment plant, goes into our factories, so they can get ready to put it onto the store shelves so that we can drink this type of water. Um, an area of land wherein all water that enters it either through precipitation or springs drains to a single point, such as a lake or an ocean. So say if the rain was to come from the clouds, of course, it would go down into a stream and it will all follow within the same channel and lead to one big open place of water. Okay. Daddy, you're funny. I know I'm funny. <laughs> Talk on the camera and then take a picture of us. Yeah. <laughs> These are my helpers, by the way. These are my helpers, by the way. All right. This is a watershed. As you can see, this is a watershed. Precipitation as it drains down into our cities. A wetland infiltration as it goes into our soil. It goes into a dam or a river. Overland flow groundwater this is a nice little visual showing of what a watershed creates <laughs> what are you laughing at? and now for the good part it's time to make our watersheds y'all ready y'all ready okay thank you daddy thank you thank yeah, you yeah. thank okay. you god um, um this is me and i do I'm so not. I don't get it in the bathtub though. And I don't like my vitamins in. Girl, be quiet. Okay. Yeah, 
Okay, let's look. You stop too. Okay, you guys. Chill out. Just get ready to knock out the rest of this, okay? Alright. So one plastic tray or shallow tub. Okay. 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 Okay.
Good job. Okay, that's that one. We're done with our oil spill, right? We're done with our oil spill, right, guys? Okay. Oh, yeah, babies. Done with, our, done with our oil spill. So next is our chemical spill, which is what? The food coloring, right? Yep. All right. Be very careful with this. I'm going to open it. You already opened it? Uh-huh. All right. Start pouring it just a little bit. Not too much. Not too much, Cam. There you go. Ah, that's a oil. You do? Yep, your oil spill. I mean, your chemical spill. Excuse me, your chemical spill. How to build a watershed. Yep. Kind of, that's what it is. I mean, it, it, things like that happen, bro. Mine is like All right, that's enough. All right, put the top back on. That is an example of your chemical spill. Yep, shake it up a little bit. Don't shake it up too much, though. Don't go crazy. You get it everywhere. Oh! I got some on my hand. Okay. I got some on my All right, hand. so the large sprinkles will signify the dead animals. Dead animals. Daddy, can I do it? Yep. Go on in, you sprinkle them all over. What's your sprinkle hands? Them all over. Just sprinkle them all however you want to do it. There you go. <laughs> That's cool. It's simple enough. Yep. Okay, you got it all over the floor. But what's going to happen? I know you're not. This is actually just an experiment. Oh, yeah. Okay. That's what happens when there's an oil spill or there's a chemical spill. You end up with dead animals. And they just lay, yeah, they lay in the chemicals and they lay in the, the oil. And it's called pollution. Okay. And then last, we have our M&Ms, items thrown and blown around from a tornado. So trash. Things like that. So, yep, yeah, open it up and pour them in there. You see how it all comes pretty much into the middle? Yep. Good job, Thank you guys. You yeah, you, 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 I'll give you a pack after, okay? Yay! Give me a pack after, okay? Yes! All right, after the completion yes. of natural disasters, juggling tell the students you give them some straws to drink the water. So would you guys like to drink this? Yes! 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 Well, do you know what happens if you drink this? In the real world, you would die. I don't think you would want to drink that because like it's so it. polluted and it's so nasty and there's so much crud and other things that's built up into it, okay? I am not and that's what happens when you have a watershed, okay? We don't drink this. You try not to drink only, it, okay? Only only the animals. The water flows into larger bodies of water. Um, what if you didn't have access to any other water? What would you guys do? Get some more. Get some more. Mm -hmm. Okay. Like so, yep. Yeah. So what you would do is you would try your hardest to. <laughs> you don't need that. What you do is you would try your hardest to find bottled water, or try to find somewhere else where you can find drinking water. water. So. We're going to show the camera your watershed. So this one is Cameron's watershed, how everything went down to the middle. Look at that, really polluted. Daddy, oh, 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 really polluted. I want some water to get there. And we're gonna show you Knox's. See that? Daddy, some water. Oh, oh, oh. It's okay, I'll clean it up. All right. So that right there, my friend, is an example of a watershed and how you make a watershed. Is there anything you guys want to say? Say thank you. Say thank you, thank guys, you, for tuning thank in. You. And that is it for our second vlog for our Watershed Harvest Heroes 2020. Thank you, guys, and I hope you guys paid attention.